BU Today reported that there are 93 students who claim Ukraine or Russia as their home. As for how you can help them, it's easy. Just be there. They need support. They need a listening ear. Hope has to be one of those things that we still keep for ourselves and that we extend to them. Dean Elmore was one of almost 200 who attended BU's Ukraine Town Hall on March 17th, where international relations professor Igor Lukes was one of the panelists. Lukes knows from personal experience the value in simply showing you are concerned. You know, as someone who experienced occupation, I can tell you that the, the first feeling you have is that of loneliness. You feel abandoned, but always start by expressing concern, sort of breaking through the shell of loneliness. Tanya Litus moved from Ukraine just three months before the invasion. She started the Instagram Boston Support Ukraine and was happy with the response from local college students. I'm, I'm just so surprised that the entire world uh, is actually standing up here for us. Litus says the most important thing you can do is attend the rallies, join the movement, and educate yourself. We are feeling lonely too, but as we come together, we feel empowered. This rock that is normally painted in Greek letters is now painted blue and yellow in support of Ukraine. With BUTV10, I'm Megan Klein.